In this video, we're going to look at how to factorize Monte quadratics using the product sum factors or PSF method. A Monte quadratic is an expression of the form x squared plus px plus r, where the coefficient of x squared is equal to 1. To factorize it, we want to be able to express it in the form of x plus a times x plus b. Let's look at our first example. We're going to factorize x squared plus 3x plus 2 using the PSF method. P stands for product. We're going to look for two numbers a and b that multiplies to give the constant 2. S stands for sum. We're going to look for the same two numbers a and b that adds to give the coefficient of x, which is 3. F stands for factors. The two numbers that satisfy both of these conditions are if a is equal to 2 and if b is equal to 1. Once we identify these factors a and b, then we can write the factorization of x squared plus 3x plus 2 as x plus 2 times x plus 1. Our next example is x squared plus 3x minus 4. We're going to use the same method, the PSF method. P stands for product. We're going to look for two numbers a and b that multiplies to give the constant of negative 4. S stands for sum. The two numbers a and b needs to add to give 3. F stands for factors. The two numbers a and b that would satisfy these conditions would be if a is equal to positive 4 and if b is equal to negative 1. Since 4 times negative 1 will give us negative 4 and 4 plus negative 1 will give us 3. Once a and b values are known, the factorization of x squared plus 3x minus 4 can simply be written as x plus 4 times x minus 1. Our last example is x squared minus 5x plus 6, again using the PSF method. P stands for product. We're looking for two numbers a and b that multiplies to give the constant 6. S stands for sum. We're looking for the same two numbers a and b that will add to give the coefficient of x, which is negative 5. F stands for factors. The two numbers a and b that will satisfy both of these conditions are if a is equal to negative 3 and if b is equal to negative 2. Since negative 3 times negative 2 will give us positive 6 and negative 3 plus negative 2 will give us a negative 5. Once a and b are known, the factorization of x squared minus 5x plus 6 is simply equal to x minus 3 times x minus 2. Thanks everyone for watching the video. For more videos on this topic or other topics, please have a look at our channel. We release videos weekly, so if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.